Fintech stocks will continue to grow as the payments landscape evolves. Fintech stocks are a sector to watch as the payment space evolves. Mercadolibur The Latin American payments and e-commerce firm remains undervalued. Adian This Dutch firm has received a lot of attention but continues to have room to grow block. Block has rebounded nicely but has more room to rise based on early 2023 prices. Let's dive in. Here are the three most undervalued fintech stocks to buy in December. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. Fintech stocks represent companies that have built and continue to build payment platforms. The financial space continues to evolve away from traditional fiat money and toward more digital innovation. The space is characterized by annual growth rates that should continue at approximately 14% through 2030. The expectation of strong growth should be enough to continue to draw investors into the sector. Fintech stocks have experienced quite a bit of volatility in 2023. However, the market and the broader economy continue to stabilize. That will be a strong signal for investors, especially those who seek undervalued investments in fintech. So, with this context in mind, here are the best and undervalued fintech stocks to buy for December. Number 1. Mercatolibur Mercatolibur has gotten much attention over the last several years while emerging as Latin America's e-commerce and fintech champion. The stock continues to have room to grow after a strong 2023 that has seen its shares rise rapidly in value. Mercado Labor's largest markets are Argentina, Brazil, and Mexico. The company offers e-commerce and payments across 18 countries overall. Although Mercado Labor is best known as an e-commerce company, its payments platform, Mercado Pago, is very large. In the third quarter, the company's payments volume increased by 121.3% reaching $47.3 billion. Mercado Pago also offers payment systems that are similar to products like Venmo, which our customers may be more familiar with. Mercado Liger's overall growth is simply impressive. Revenues grew by more than 69% during the most recent period. As interest rates fall into 2024, it's very reasonable to expect that Mercado Liger shares will only strengthen as a growth stock. Whether investors consider Mercado Labor for e-commerce or fintech, it provides much to like. Number 2. Adian. Adian, like Mercado Labor, is likely to be relatively unknown to U.S. investors because it isn't a U.S.-based company. The Netherlands-based payments firm has a strong European presence and a footprint that extends into Africa, Latin America, and Asia. The stock rebounded quickly after falling dramatically between August and early November. Currently, it is fully priced based on the consensus target of analysts. However, the high target price suggests that there is more than a 30% potential return from this point. Adian continues to grow at a quick rate. In the third quarter, revenue increased by 22% on payments volumes that increased by 21%. I mentioned that the company has a strong presence in the European market. However, Adian is highly integrated with global American businesses as well. For example, every time a digital transaction is made at McDonald's, the company receives a fee. Number 3. Block. Block has grown to encompass several other payment businesses, becoming one of the leading fintech stocks. The company rebranded as Block to encompass a broader strategy that includes cryptocurrency, among other businesses. Block continues to be primarily fueled by its point-of-sale business known as Square and Cash App. Square accounted for $899 million of profit in the third quarter, while Cash App accounted for $984 million. The company continues to have a strong presence, footprint, and growth that reached 21% during the period. At the same time, investors continue to be wary of Block because it is so volatile. One of the reasons that it continues to be so volatile is that despite its large presence and strong profits, it continues to struggle and produces losses. In the third quarter, those losses reached $29 million. That said, Block remains a fintech stock to buy in December, especially considering the expected rate cuts in 2024. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.